this is the next machine that I'd like to show you. It's um, a Sharp and Stewart slotting machine made in Manchester. Um, Sharp Roberts set up in 1838 and it became Sharp Stewart in 1852. And this machine was new to savages of King's Lynn and um, it was started as F. Savage Engineer in 1853 and I I surmise that Savage has bought this in the 1850s and it certainly would appear to be that age because the frame of the machine is T-section and not box section as is usually the case. Um, it's six inch stroke uh, and it's not geared. Instead of being geared it's got an extremely large and heavy pulley at the back and, uh, and you can see the somewhat makeshift arrangement which I'm driving it by but it does it does work after a fashion. Um, it's just a lovely old thing. Um, there's a similar machine in the Borough Museum at Thetford, and I wonder whether Savage saw that machine or Burrell saw this one and bought one. I don't know which way around it was, but it's some, somewhat of a coincidence. Um, some little feature that I really like about this machine, it's um, it's a bit of sort of ornamentation really, it's this little drawer. You don't often see a slotting machine filled with a drawer. It was for catching all the chips. You could just take the drawer out and slip it back in again. And it's surprising that that's still with it. Um, the job on the machine is these brackets which I was shaping on the hind shaper. There's one that's already complete, which is behind you. Um, so, just to prove that it does work, I've got actually done one already. And this one is just being finished off. Just about to take a cut at the bottom of the bearing housing to establish the depth. And I use that as the datum. Um, I'll just have a little oil around first. I'm using gear oil because it's very thick and it's, there's, a, there's a small amount of play in the connecting rod. And the gear oil does tend to be very thick, takes up the, quiets it down a good deal. Which, um, if you're 150 years old, I think you'd have a bit of a knock. using hand speeds because it's just as convenient. I hope you like my little homemade clapper box. It looks rather diminutive but it really does work. It saves a lot of rubbing of the tool.
just keep their close eye on the line.